Yeah. What up, what up? Welcome to Fly Vision TV. It's your host, Tom McFly, back again. Hey, what's your name, bro? Mari, Mari. We're here with Mari. And I saw you, the reason why I asked you, I pulled you to the side. I saw you on Darrell's Instagram, man. You model for them, correct? Yep, yep, yep. How long have you been doing that? Um, no cap. I was trying to model for them last year type shit, but true hit me on some shit like, what was that, like, three days ago? Asked me to model for them, I was like, fuck it. Mm hmm so, You know what I'm saying? So, what's your favorite piece of um all the new gear? My favorite piece out of all this new gear, I want to say, is this shit right here. This sleeper right here. Mm hmm You can show that, buddy. We've been sleeping on this shit. This shit fire, bro. Back, back. 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 You feel me? Okay, okay. Little rain jacket, bro. That's probably mm -hmm. one of my best. Nah, I see your jib. I see your jib. You feel me? You real, you real fly visions. <laughs> you want to tell me what you got on today? Oh, um, right now. So I got on the fucking Supreme vest real quick. Mm -hmm. Got on the Derails shirt. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I you feel me? Got the, got the pants, the Yeezys. Fuck it. Those ain't no normal yeah. pants. Those are some. What material is this? Okay. Some, some limited palm angels. Okay. I see. I see you dripping. I see you dripping. Right, well, right. thank you for chopping it up with me, bro. You know, I just want to know what you think about the store. Um, do you want to let people know anything um, about the real? I go by the name Mari. Also, Capital Mar. I fuck with Fly Visions. Um, the Reels. This is just a vibe, bro. No cap. I just gotta come in and check out the store. Got some fire ass gear, fire ass clothes. The ship you can rock with all ages. You told them your Instagram and shit? Um, Capital Mar. You can follow me at Capital Mar. Um, Twitter, Tubla Mari, Capital Mar, everything else. Any other brands looking for models, they can hit you up, right? Hell yeah. I bet. Good luck, buddy. Good shit, bro. We're here with Michael. He had the opening day of the Derails release. I see you shop today, bro. What'd you grab? I got two tie-dye shirts and I got a little AirPod case okay. for my AirPod shit. All right, where you from, bro? I'm around. I'm from Dorchester. I moved to Milton because I go to school out there, mm -hmm. but I'm from around here. Okay, so you, how long have you known about the brand real? Um, my mom makes the bags and stuff. She makes like the coasters and the pillows. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, that's lit. Check out one of these coasters. Yeah, she makes the coasters, so she's she knew about them for a while. Okay, so now you're just supporting, also yeah. showing. So what do you think about the show? You know, come, I mean, not the show. What do you think about the store coming in on your first day? What's your I first impression? This store is fire. Like, honestly, like, if I can come here all the time, I would. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't got money like that, but, like, this... It's amazing. Is it, a, so is, it an, is it affordable? You say you don't yeah. have much money. It's a good price? Yeah. It's not it's too probably. taxed or nothing? Yeah. I right, wait. Well, thank you for chopping it up with us, bro. What up? What up? Welcome to Fly Business TV. It's your host, Ty McFly. Roger. And today we're here with our special guest, True. And my man's Chris. Um, y'all can't try to do stuff, so what do you exactly do y'all do? You're the owner and co-founder of Derrillis. Yeah. For those who don't know, do you want to, you know, spell it out? Uh, Derrillis is D-A-R-E-A-L-E-S. And it's Derrillis. Derrillis. Not yeah. Derrillis. Nah, not Derrillis. But you, realistically, you kind of knew niggas were going to say it like different ways, but it's like a play on words like the Derrillis. Okay. So instead of that, it's just the and the yeah. Derrillis. And so, where's your role at? And then pretty much like the brand ambassador, mm -hmm. you know, creative director, so kind of like just do what I can, put it together. Okay, so it's definitely a team. Is there more of you guys or it's just straight y'all too? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a team. Um, partner out of, out of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. His name is Rome, he's not here, shout out Rome. Yes, um, we got Ashton, uh, he's, he's also located, he does like a lot of photography and just like, just like, day-to-day -day management type shit. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have uh, my boy Hero. Uh, he's also like a like visual director and shit like that. Like creating like a lot of visuals and shit. Sometimes we work together, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Now you said you have a, um, a partner in Atlanta. Yeah. I noticed that's where I see the realist other than Boston is Atlanta. You know, I see right. um, on the show. It was so yeah, strong that. Is that thing? It, it, it was it was on uh, it was on the show too. Oh the trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, seen yeah, it like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Man, what the fuck are you doing here uninvited? I took you up on an offer. Remember the offer you had told me? I'm ready to run with the big dogs. I'm ready to cuff them up under the porch. Man, you are not the brightest bulb in the box. You know, if I'd have known this was a player's ball, I'd yeah. I was like, yeah, that's crazy. Who wore it in Atlanta? Um 
basically it was like a whole episode on the show of Atlanta, maybe like season one, mm -hmm. where uh, I think this shit was called like Justin Bieber or Bieber or something mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> and um, basically that character wore the real hat like the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that shit was fire. Bro. And so do you guys tell them like, yo, hey, wear this hat or when you guys see stuff like that? Is that a surprise or wow? It, it's definitely a surprise because you know at the end of the day like these these productions have like wardrobe. You feel what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's like like you could have chose anything. Exactly. Right. So yeah. That being said, that means a whole um like a person probably like here I'm gonna dress you for me as this real hat with this and all that. That's kind of crap. Like, the stylist put that on. Yeah, no, nah, absolutely. That's absolutely. It's, it, it's a blessing, yo. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, you know, we out there just like kind of like cooking and making things happen out there as well. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You want to kind of be like multifaceted. You know what I'm saying? It's not just like the main. We're from Boston, but mm -hmm. we don't have to just stay in Boston. No, that's for sure. Sure. Okay. sure. I was spared at this point. Yeah. I would say though for brands, I feel like they gotta conquer Boston first. And I'd say you guys pretty much did that. Like everybody be wearing the real. I mean, like, yeah. you know, bro. Do you like, feel as opposed to all of like putting on for Boston and the fashion industry and urban wear and actually getting something up the running? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And just as far as like streetwear, um, just really we're coming in to, to to make an impact in that space. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because you have a lot of these brands that you know, we're all familiar with like the Supremes with Dave and all that other shit. Like nobody ever mentioned. Well, I mean, you got Bodega and um, concepts mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But just as far as like from our culture, like somebody that you can look in the mirror and see. You know what I'm saying? You definitely want to want to make sure we wear impact, especially more specifically in Dorchester, because that's is that we got it from Dorchester. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. definitely see. I, yeah. yeah. It's I definitely see everybody. Wearing it from basketball players, from chefs to females to females that get fly every day. Uh, what is the um like the who do you make the real the real is for? I would say. Um, realistically, that's yo. Know, it's it, that that joint's like a, a kind of complex because realistically, like creating a brand, mm -hmm. you know, we want it to be an extension to your confidence. So at the end of the day, everybody can. Be real because it's not if you think I'm real it's like yo I think I'm real you know what I'm saying I'm true to myself you know what I'm saying I, don't, I really don't care what you, what you think mm -hmm. and that's kind of how we like in the whole design process too like we want to create things that we think are dope you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. and then we piece it together in a, in a way to where it's like okay a lot of times cats don't know that they can wear this like you know what I'm saying like even with this joint this is a what the joint true got on that's a motocross joint Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People just think like, yo, I gotta hop on the bike and do it, which there is a culture of people that do that. But at the same time, like, yo, I can dress that shit up and down. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, uh, you know, like, like one thing you kind of say, you, you try to be versus style, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you know what I mean? Style, yeah, style. like, yo, yeah. I, can, I can pick it up or down, it just all depends, you feel me? And I see that because you guys went and even got a, 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 a vest. I mean, I'll be seeing people wearing that too. So, oh, that's a different thing. You think so? Yeah. It's probably different. I'm not, you can wear that. You can wear a hoodie with that, you feel me? It's not like the little thin vest. Like, you can actually sport that in different ways. Like, people saying, like, that's the style. That's what we go for. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. I've seen a few people, you know, in the whole fashion world and industry starting in the vest out of, out of like this year. That's why me personally, that's why I didn't buy it. Yeah. Because I've seen that you guys had that. So the question with that is, when you guys are designing clothes, are you guys more so on the like let's make a let's make clothes that go along with the trends that we know people are gonna like, or you, when you guys are designing? Yo, no, no bullshit, you know? bro. Mm -hmm. That joint before before was like even popular. We, we did that. That joint's a little old now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So people, but people are just catching on. So we try to just like. Oh, so y'all bend it. We bend it that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like that was probably like a. It, I mean, it was a season, a season ago, but now it's it's picking up, so people are understanding. And then even with doing that, we wanted to make it to where you can disconnect the parts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you can rock the front with the back. You know what I'm saying? We just mm -hmm. want the shit to be like a 
a multifaceted piece. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely different than other busts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and, that, and that's just kind of like the whole the whole concept when we when we do shit, like just being versatile with it. You guys said it's being true to yourself. So that's what you guys, that's the message you guys want to give out to the way to close. Absolutely. When you put this on, make sure you are yourself, make sure you make yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So since you started the brand, you know how everyone has this stigma on Boston not supporting that thing. Have you always, like, has Boston always showed you love or has you got more recognition? I mean, boss is boss, you know what I'm saying? So it, but at the same time, I, I think what I tell, like, a lot of people, like, you just got to stick to who fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens is they gonna love you, then they hate you, then they love you again. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? Or they hate you, then they love you again. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, sure. just stick to stick to your people and just build off of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And just and just keep pushing. You gotta stay consistent. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it's only, it's only, it's only so long fake thugs can pretend. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta pretend and they hot, but you eventually you you got yeah. support, you can't see yeah. 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 Like, Absolutely. Like, okay, let me go get this, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I think that's kind of how it usually happens. Like, they see people rocking it or see certain people rocking it, it's just like, damn, that actually looks nice. Right. So it's all about how you present yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's kind of what Because I'm not even going to flex. Before I even seen, like, a lot of, I, I probably would have never even thought about it when we're in the best like that, you feel me? But I'm like, Couple niggas just sport it well, you yeah, know. Maybe, yeah, maybe yeah. I could throw it on, yeah. but I, I just be really trying to keep cool. But me personally, I definitely fuck with the reals, fuck with the reals. But that's him, okay, all right. Um, when did you guys first start? Um, honestly, like we started, we started a piece job, you know. Like the, like yo, we started a minute ago. I ain't gonna front. Like, some old pieces back then. Yeah, like yo, we we we've been in the game just as far as like just trying to do stuff for a minute. And then, um, like, there was like a spurt we didn't, because I, I, I lived in Atlanta mm -hmm. for like, probably like 10 years or something. I'm from Boston. Okay. So I was down there doing my thing. Like, I worked for like different like brands and stuff like that. Um, uh, but more on the sales, the sales side, mm -hmm. not so much just like the design. Mm -hmm. And then um, I had my, my son in like over uh, 2011. So I was like, you know where I want to come from. I want to come back to Boston. Cause yo, no, no bullshit. Like I seen an article. This was like a minute ago on like GQ. It was like the worst dressed people in like Boston. Oh, I never seen that. That's what I'm saying. Like it, that, um, it was a minute ago. Like you know what I mean? But I'm saying, I'm like, damn, like, <laughs> what? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I, I feel like I get crazy. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like I was like, all right, cool. So I have my child, and I was like, yo. And we have been kind of doing it like off and on, like most family. We, we uh we had did like stuff like Janelle Monet's dances back in the day. Like you know what I'm saying? Okay. So we've been like doing like little things, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um so then we came back here and then we just started cooking like so like 2000, 2012 we really like branded ourselves back in Boston to let them know like that. I mean, this, this is what a hub is, you know what I'm saying? We're going to spread our wings everywhere else, but, you know what I'm saying, this is what they about to take a look. Yeah. And I peep that you said you was on the, the more so the, the pricing, uh, not the interstate pricing, you said um, like the marketing side of things. Yeah. So for people that do want to create a brand, it's not just creating a design, you think you're going to get it put on a shirt, it's more than that. You want to explain a little bit more so on the business side? Oh, um, well, I'm... Realistically, like I'm, I'm more the design, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. But my my uh, Rome, he's like into like the, the whole marketing and like the product placement and things like that. But you know, we all within the business, we all do a little bit of everything. You know what I'm okay. saying? Because it's like it's a team, it's a team effort, and we all have our individual goals within this within this business. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying? We all some sometimes just like. Do this, 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 and this, but primarily, you know what I'm saying? I, I am designed you know what I'm saying? And what are you guys' goals, both y'all can, like, you guys, what do you guys seek out of, out of the reals? What are you guys from the city, today? really, at this point? That's mm -hmm. trying to establish something here, and you said it's for your wings, but it's all about the state. This, yeah. you know, Absolutely. I mean, this this is the first location, so we plan to do, like, after a year or two, um, we're going to open one in Atlanta. And then after that, but but at the same time, what we're doing is 
we're, we're planting our seed, because that's the goal, like to plant the seed in each spot, so let them know, like, yo, this shit is here, this is fresh, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. And a lot of times, you know, people wanted it, but they didn't know where to get it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so, so that that was the, that's the thing too. Like having a a place because you're saying it like a trap and this, and we got a few other other things within the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. I mean, within the next few months or so, you'll probably start seeing it a little bit more. I, I be seeing like I, it's because I be seeing people. It be really Snapchat when I see people, especially the head being. That's what I feel like I be seeing the most out of anything. Like I'll be walking anything like, and I'm just like being like. I didn't know they knew true you for me. I didn't know they knew you. Like, how did they get that? But now there's a place for them to get that. And this store is lit. I appreciate it. I've seen it before I even know what like associated. Oh, shit. So you was here before me? Yeah. Before. I didn't have, like, I've seen someone wearing it and then this play difficult. And I see you wearing it. And I'm like, yo, where's that? I'm going to make this stuff from. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, your thing. Okay, actually, I'll get it. Do you guys do yourself moving, like, to, like, luxury? Like, you come to luxury? Well, um, we actually do, like our pricing is like moderate to premium we price, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know. What for everybody. Yeah, because it, again, when it's, because, because yo, you, you think about polo, right? Mm -hmm. Don't nobody care about who has the low on, mm -hmm. they know it's polo. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if, we, if we're like a, a representation of style, you know what I'm saying? A representation of what's real. You know what I mean? Because that, that's that's how we want to do it. It's just like the overall message. And then of course, like you know, we have, like coming this fall, we have some pieces that are a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. But that's because of the the construction of what we do, what we do, what we're gonna do with it. But at the same time, we want a little. Yeah, absolutely. We want we want a little bit for everything. And and shit, if I wouldn't pay that price, I'm not gonna make somebody else pay that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's kind of how I look at it. Like what I would pay for, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Me personally, I'd be like, mm -hmm. you say that, on the luxury end, our shit's more like high fashion. Mm -hmm. So it's, there's a lot of pieces that we have that like can be priced at a high range, but it's just like, we want to keep it at a moderate, at a moderate price. Like we would pay for it, you know what I mean? So that's kind of how I see it, yeah. you know, like a high fashion. So in the future, when it does become like, you know, hopefully it gets to like New York fashion, Paris when fashion. It, when it will, when it, when it but does. When it does, when it does, when it does yeah, do you guys want to be put more so in the urban category or like up there with like a Versace or like- Well, I mean, mean, at the end of the day, if you just look at, mm -hmm. if you just look <laughs> at, if you just look at streetwear now, it's kind of taking over high fashion. Like, yeah, you know, like the Virgils and these different cats like that, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That's incorporating like t-shirts into a rival. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's just yeah. like at the same at the same time, we just we just gonna do we and everything else is just fall into place. Just yeah. continue to create dope shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the goal and continue to look look in the future to like, yo, okay, what does a hoodie look like in two thousand and twenty six? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the type of shit we go into, and then we like, alright, boom, we about to bring it here. And I, a, a lot of times, shit we do, it do go over niggas' heads, but you gonna get it eventually. Mm -hmm. You, gotta you know what I'm saying? You gonna, you gonna figure it out. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes it's just like a a tutorial where we have to kind of show people this kinda is how cool. it looks. Kind of like kind of like with the um with the dirt bike jerseys. You guys have my man's um model on the dirt bikes. Yeah, and still has some kicks on. Yep. You know what I mean, because y'all could have went to a whole super cross track, uh, put a whole yep. dirt bike uniform yep. on somebody, yep. but yep. you might just dress it down and still be on the bike. Absolutely, so that was kind of absolutely. Because yo, you could wear a dirt bike jersey and still make it look fresh. Yeah, facts. Nah, facts, facts, facts. What is the logo on you too? Oh, like the bird. Yeah. State bird. So it's it's a uh, Massachusetts state bird. But it's a it's a little bit deeper than I that. Think you got it tatted. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you got a Duro's tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Some shit like I just don't know why. So it's so it's it's, it's deeper than it's a it's, it's a culture, yo. It's it's it's, 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 it's like yeah, absolutely. So you know, at the end of the day, yeah. with the with the bird, what that represents is like a gaming. We're going back to being real. You know, when you're true to yourself, you're comfortable everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And you think about the bird. What it can do is courses from the beam. But what when you think about a bird, it can walk on land, fly in the air, and float on the water. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So that's like I'm still me wherever I am in all these different joints. You know what I'm saying? Still, so it's just like moving. 
Yeah, just being comfortable everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Being I still see it. I always thought it was a bird. The way you just put that as mad smooth, it makes me shit. I mean, I'll get a whole shirt with just a bird. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good bird. I was like, oh, I like the way that means. And I'm like, hey, with this bird on my chest, I mean, I'm good anyway. I'm, I'm real. real. I'm real. You know what I'm saying? I'm true to myself. You feel me? Nah. So that's, that's kind of what we want to do. You know what I mean? I definitely fuck with that. Now more so, more so into the store. This is a, is this like your biggest accomplishment that you think you've accomplished so far with having the brand is, is this first storefront? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Like our step. home. It's a big step. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a definitely, definitely big step. Definitely a big step. Yeah. It would be y'all. I used to pull up on Chew to get a shirt. He was chopping off the chunks. So we all, we all did that. You know what I'm saying? We all did it. And it's just like having to run. Like, it's really like selling some drugs, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. This is all over the place, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, all right, boom, this is, this is the hub. And a lot of times, too, like, we're in other stores or other states, so it's just yeah. like, okay, if they can if they can do that with our, with our merchandise, we can do the same thing with it, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, really, just um, being our own, just, just handling everything, being our own distributor and just, like, pushing the brand how we want to push it. I get it. And now with the store, do you guys, as creative as you are with the clothing, do you guys, uh, I can see that you guys are creative with the store also, but I want you guys to explain to the people, you know, how you guys go about the art in the store, the vibe of the store, you know, that you yeah. want people to catch when they walk in. What do you think? I would say it's, as of now, it's more like a, like a boutique type. We're going to keep it as not too much art and all that extra stuff because when you come in, you're supposed to focus on the clothes, really. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to put a bunch of stuff on the wall and do all that yet. But as people catch on and come through and actually get a vibe in the store, mm -hmm. then we'll, we'll start pushing it out and trying to put other stuff in that's going to catch people's eyes. But as of now, it's more more so for the clothes. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of like the way, the way we kind of thought about it is like a like an art gallery, you know what I'm saying? It's like real clean. But the, nah, art, the art speaking, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Let, let, let the art speak, let you come in. You don't want to be overwhelmed by too many colors mm -hmm. or like some graffiti or shit on the wall, you feel me? Mm -hmm. To where it's like, okay, boom. All right, bomb, I want that shirt or I want this because I can, you, you see the light. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's clear, it's clear. Like you want the clouds, man, you know what I'm saying? And now with the store, I had another question. Um, on the on the opening day of the store, um, do you have a date of the opening day? Well, um, we had so and, and that's and that's just the thing. Like, and it's just so it's it's just obstacles. You know what I'm saying? And we're just like overcoming those obstacles, and that's what I tell any person as a as a business. You know what I'm saying? So we had a expected launch date as the 15th, mm -hmm. which we have a good bit of the the collection and things like that. We can. We can sell, but we want we want to present our you know it's the first impression. This is our first time in our community, our own store. So I want you to come in and get and, and get the get fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, talk about get crazy. I was even there, but on Snapchat, would you guys have a um, listening party? A listening for who? Yeah, TJ. Yeah, yeah, I definitely did an interview um with him before. Y'all had this shit lit. I was like. Damn, I don't even know why I didn't go. Like, yeah. like, crap, but that was like an exclusive first look into the store, and that yeah. shit was packed. How'd that make y'all feel? It was good. Yeah, no. Yeah. That was dope, because you don't really see like, too many people doing something like that in Boston. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely, like, yeah. That's, that's, and that's, that's the vibe. Like, yo, this, we're of the community, so let's service the, the community. community. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. At the same time, like, you know, like, we are, we are the same people, like, you, you got a dream, we had a dream, you know what I'm saying? And this is where we are, so we gotta help each other in accomplishing something, because at the end of the day, like we was talking earlier, a lot of people, it ain't no hate here. This mm -hmm. shit's all love, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's just how we rock, you feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you don't you can't stop what I got going. You can't stop what I got going on. So, I mean, hating is just, Waste your time, really. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, you yeah, said, other than putting out clothes or, you know, dope shit to the community, what else are you, are you guys doing to better the community? Um, So, I mean, just, just like last year, we did like turkey drives and toy drives and shit yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Um, So, now we have an actual location. We'll do more of that. Um, so, now all the giving back will be from here? From here. Yeah. Okay. From here. And um, we, we got a couple other things to where, like, you know, a lot of kids go home hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at, at some point we want to implement a, a, a space where like, yo, at a certain time, you can come get your little meal before you go home, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So 
We just we just want to see growth. Now. You understand? Know we want to see we want to see growth in our community and just provide something to where like people see the realists as like, damn, like, so you know what I mean? I think yeah. you guys are definitely bringing that vibe that a lot of people leave Massachusetts for to go find y'all bringing it back to the city. Absolutely, absolutely. 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 Kind of like, kind of like what you did because you even said it yourself. Like, I did go to Atlanta for a few, and then now I'm back here for me shutting shit down, showing yeah. up, but. You as, as a man, right? For other for other guys trying to start a clothing brand, their own business that just look up to you. Yeah. When they come in the store, can they chop it up with you? Have a conversation? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Because I mean, Cause even, even, even now, even now, even now, even now, like even now, like you know, like my DMs, people are ask me, like, yo, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Or how do you do it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll give you as much information as I possibly can. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't give you the secret sauce because I'm the sauce. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, like, I, I'll let you, you know what I'm saying? This is the direction you go. You focus on what it is you want and just keep pushing because a lot of times what happens is people uh, hit these roadblocks. You know what I'm saying? People are run into a space where like, damn, I don't know where to go next and be like, fuck this brand shit. I'm gonna just go get me a job. Mm -hmm. and, and that's and, I, and that's another thing I tell niggas too, like, this shit don't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be willing to fucking cry, fucking bleed for this shit, sweat for this shit, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. in, in order to get what it is you want out your life. And people be like, damn, you still doing that? You still work at your job, right? Because <laughs> it's never enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, still, you know what I'm saying? You'll work at you'll work at a job for a thousand years for some shit you'll never own. But I'm I'm looking I'm looking bigger than that. Like yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in the work. So true. Every everybody in the team, we all straight. And anybody that fuck with it, we all straight. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. then our community grows at the same time. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, so that's that's that's, that's that's just the big uh, the big objective. You feel what I'm saying? Now, the point of Five Business TV is to expose the fake and uplift the real. What I, if you might want to, I just want to touch on me being here, my vibe here today, what I caught. I feel like now I know what the real is, you feel me, behind the brand, behind the dope shirts, behind the ill shit, you feel me? Yeah. Like, y'all, y'all are definitely cool, you feel me? It's definitely vibe. So now, what's up? Can my Five Visions guests, can, can we get like any type of discount, any type of, not necessarily a discount, any type of, um, you know, oh, deal, no, secret, yeah. secret, yeah. feel me, secret showing of some exclusiveness that's about to come out, anything oh, like that? Oh, absolutely. Well, what's what's coming out? I mean, I can show, let me see if I got it on my phone. Mm. Uh, I mean, I have the pictures pop up. This is, this is a joint from the, um, that we dropping. We doing a couple tie dye joints. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cla classic, classic, classic little logo joint with the tie dye. Mm -hmm. Right. Just th that's just a couple joints, and then you know we have to put on for the city. You know the vibes. On the other side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know the vibes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so that's just that's just so one of the joints. Yeah. Um, that's actually what we're gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. We should. That'd be tight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We're gonna do. We're gonna do a few like that, and that's the thing. Like we just wanna show niggas like different ways you can fresh that yeah. shit up. Mm -hmm. Fact, even on your Instagram, I saw someone with, with the whole real shirt tucked in with a belt, like, at the way oh, I would yeah, never but I was like, that's just that that You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's just like the cool way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, is there any future collaborations you guys hope to have with, whether there's other brands, famous designers, anything like that? Like, I mean, the goal is all, like, shit, everybody want a Nike. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Cool. Like, you know, okay. but at the same time, I also want, like, an Adidas, because that's... Culture of Boston. Boston is yeah, on dogs. Streets for the streets. You know what I'm saying? Dog, so, so I always want to, I always at the same time, like, I want to put on for where I'm from. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because niggas wear New York hats and they're all over the place. Mm -hmm. So right. it's like this, the same situation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And now, facts, I need, I need to start wearing me a hat. Y'all throw that bread? Oh, yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah, Just yeah, like yeah, that. Y'all yeah. got those? We got the, yeah, we got a couple, but we, yo, we got, look, I'm telling you, we're going to have a fucking trailer. Yeah. Like and then the, even my mans just bought the, the AirPods yeah. case, and then we got no AirPods. Yeah, and, that, and, that, and that's the thing, too, we, we want to, like, you, you think, like, 
What's functionality. What's the word? That, what's the word? Um, style versity. Versus style. Versus style. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you, know what I'm saying? you got it. You know what I'm You could throw your. Because, I mean, originally, we, we came up with the idea based off of the AirPods. Like, yo, I kept leaving that shit in my car. I kept leaving it in other places. Like, them. So I'm like, yo, fuck it. Let me, let me put it somewhere. Put it on my keys. You got to bring your keys with you. Right. So, boom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but let's, let's add a little style to the shit. You Straight know what I mean? And now, where do you guys get these prints from? Um, like, it's kind of like that one right there, cause I got the jacket too. Oh, that camo, yeah. What do you guys be looking at? Like, what would you look at to find that print? You know, what did you guys look at to get That's this so awesome. design? <laughs> 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 Yeah, I didn't